when it comes to putting, there's probably more room for negotiation than any of the other skills. So when it comes to the, how wide your feet are, how you hold it even, the way you stand, I would say they're all negotiable. There's one thing that I won't negotiate on, and that's where we have the ball in relation to the feet. When we putt, we don't want the ball to get in the air. We want to keep it on the ground and we want to get it rolling. If we have the ball in the middle of the feet, then you're going against physics, that you're going against the design of the putter. So the one thing that's not negotiable is where we have the ball in relation to the feet. It has to be left of middle, somewhere just inside the left heel. That will allow the putter to sit on the ground as it's designed and allow you to roll the ball towards the, the, the target with a solid contact. The ball's in the middle, the shaft's going to lean, then the sweet spot's heading downwards. That's a bit of a mismatch. With the grip, no rules as such. The most commonly used grip is what we call the reverse overlap. So this thumb and finger, there's more feel in those two fingers than the other eight put together. So I like to see a long front finger, thumb on the top, and then the left outside. The purpose of this grip, especially when you get near the hole, you're not likely to leave it too short or bomb it over the hole. If you do miss, it's because the putter face was pointed to the left, it was pointed to the right. So the idea of this grip is to minimize the amount of twist that we're gonna see in the putter. That's gonna help keep the ball on line. Again, I wouldn't argue with someone who gripped it differently and if it worked, but I would always try to start with this grip and then you can fine tune it from there. So to wrap up, technique wise, you can stand how you like, you can have your feet as wide or as narrow as you like, you can be over, you can be upright, no problem. The only thing that I would say would be a problem is if the ball was in the middle. So we want to see opposite the left heel. I've hit a nice shot here onto the green and the routine, the very first thing we always do is our housework. So we mark the ball with a coin just behind. Pick the ball up, make sure the ball's nice and clean. Just check there's nothing on the line that might deflect the ball off. Make sure the contact's clean and then replace the ball. Once I've done the housework, next thing I'm going to do is a bit of research. So I want to be sensitive to the speed of the greens. You can see the grass has just been cut this morning. So if it's fast or slow, I need to be tuned into that. So my research, I'm going to have a look to make sure there's nothing uh, slope wise I need to keep my eye out for. It. So it's pretty straight. After the research we're just going to refresh the detail so we just remind ourselves with the grip and the ball position it's probably 10 minutes or so since we've had the putt in the hands so I like to just remind myself grip ball position and I do that behind the ball again and the last thing the important bit is locking on here we're going to tell the brain exactly what we'd like to happen so just like that snooker player we're going to look at the ball, we're going to see it tracking towards the hole. We're going to see it go in the hole, we're going to hear it go in. And most importantly, we're going to imagine the golfers you're playing with, the reaction, what would they say, how would they say it when it does go in. Okay, so. Housework. Research. Refresh the detail. and then tell the brain exactly what you'd like to happen. So you're going to see the ball rolling towards the hole, you're going to see it disappear, you're going to hear the reaction. No more practice, swing straight up to the ball, and then we're locking onto the target.